Welcome to the 198th episode of the West Wing Week. Stay tuned for episode 200. We out. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president sat down for lunch with young organizers who are working to help implement the Affordable Care Act, hosted the president of Spain in the Miami Heat, traveled to the home of the Wolf Pack, to announce a new public-private effort to support investment in our manufacturing sector, announced his nominee to run the Small Business Administration, spoke on expanding college opportunity alongside the First Lady, while the Vice President was in the Motor City. That's January 10th to January 16th, or well, give peace a chance. Chance, uh, and give peace a chance. Kicking off this West Wing week up at a popular home office for D.C.'s Columbia Heights residents, the COOP, the President got together with five advocates who are working to help enroll younger consumers and spread the word about the options available to young people in the healthcare marketplace. Tell, tell me what you've been hearing, what you've been saying, what's worked, what's kind of passed around. He also got the chance to talk with some of the D.C. denizens seeking caffeine and community up there at the Coop and couldn't resist some baby time. Oh, there are babies here, though. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to say hi to the baby. What's going on, bud? Say hello. Oh, <laughs> lunch with the president uh, this Friday and talked about the Affordable Care Act and really meeting young people where they are to get the information out. Um, and we're just hoping to engage young people in their communities and get the information to them. So it was exciting. Oh, what did you just break? Monday was also known as Lunis to many in the West Wing that day as the president of Spain and his delegation visited for a bilateral meeting with the president in the Oval Office. We finalized an interim agreement with uh, Iran that could solve diplomatically uh, what has been the long-running concern around Iran's nuclear program. On Tuesday morning, the president called his first cabinet meeting of this 2014 year of action. I've got a pen and I've got a phone. I can use that pen to sign executive orders uh, and take executive actions and administrative actions that move the ball forward to make sure that people are getting the skills that they need to get those jobs that uh, our businesses are creating. Hello everybody, hello, hello. Then the president, for the second year in a row, welcomed the NBA champion Miami Heat to the White House to honor the team for winning last year's title. Outstanding athletes, outstanding organization, outstanding team. Uh, we wish them great luck uh, for the rest of the season, uh, unless they're playing the Bulls. The First Lady and a few of the Heat took some time to produce a PSA to spread the word about eating healthy and drinking water. Stay tuned for the final product. On Wednesday, the president traveled to Raleigh, North Carolina to tour Vacon a company that manufactures AC drives, which are used to control the speed of electric motors to maximize energy efficiency. He then spoke at North Carolina State University, the home of the Wolfpack, to announce new steps with the private sector to boost advanced manufacturing and attract the kind of good jobs with good wages that a growing middle class requires. So in the coming weeks, we're going to be launching two more of these innovation hubs. We've already got them all planned out. And together, they're going to help build new partnerships in areas that show potential. They'll help to lift up our communities. They'll help spark the technology and research that will create the new industries, the good jobs required for folks to punch their ticket in the middle class. Then, the president traveled back from sunny Raleigh, North Carolina, to the more wintry climes of DC, and back to the White House, where he announced his nomination of Maria Contreras Sweet as administrator of the Small Business Administration. Yeah, Maria, on the way in, told me a wonderful story about how uh, her grandmother was a migrant worker, uh, you know, said to her that, you know, if she worked hard, studied, stayed in school, that someday she'd be able to work in an office uh, as a secretary and, uh, you know, really uh, make her proud. And, and now she's going to be helping the folks who are following behind her achieve their dream. Thursday was Motor City Day in this edition of West Wing Week, with the vice president speaking at the North American International Auto Show in where else? Detroit. The president gets credit and he deserves it, but the truth is the reason why the industry's back is all of you. Later, the vice president got to tour the exhibit. Look at the old hubcaps. <laughs> all right, let me show you the new one. Right. Yeah, take a ride. Just don't get out of the way. <laughs> it feels good. It's good. You, you look, look at, you yeah, look good. You look good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm like a kid in a candy shop. <laughs> I tell you what, technology matters. Stingray or Zeo 6? The Zeo 6. That's the one you want. That's the one I want. <laughs> that afternoon at the White House, 
The President and First Lady hosted an event on expanding college opportunity that included college and university presidents and leaders from nonprofits, foundations, state governments, and businesses from all across the country. Because what you're doing here today means that there are a bunch of young people like Troy and like Michelle and like me who suddenly may be able to see a whole new world open up before them that they didn't realize was there. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out the West Wing Week. Guy. For the most part, yeah. yeah. I mean, not always, but yeah. I, you know. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.